Hey YouTube, this is Jeff with the YouTube channel, The Wolf of Wisco. I've got a 74 Volkswagen bus. We did a Subaru engine swap from an air-cooled motor to a liquid-cooled motor. When you got a liquid-cooled motor, you need to have a temp sensor or an idiot light to display when you got over temp situations. The air-cooled motor does not have an over temp light. That's why we need to add one. So uh, I went on the Amazon and I bought a twin pack of these little, it's basically, this is a, is a small light with an alarm in it. And I wanted to add a audio type, uh, you know, something my daughter could hear when she drives the bus and a visual. So uh, follow along, we'll show you how we did this. Check that light out, guys. We bought this Long Acre uh, kit and I'm gonna install it. This is an on-off switch at 230 Fahrenheit. Right there, there's the part number. Uh, instead of using just this light, I opted to go with this slightly larger um, buzzer and it illuminates and beeps when the contact is made at 230. So I don't have to tell my daughter, watch for a light. Uh, this thing is blaring. It's like, it's like nuclear, nuclear, you know, code going on here. Uh, that's what I want. So she can drive it. She doesn't have to look at gauges. I don't have to say, hey, if it hits 220, 230, pull over. This thing will be right in her face. And uh, no questions asked. All right, so here's the beeper slash flasher. I'm thinking of putting it right here. It's about the same diameter as the current light switch right here. And if I feel and push on this little vinyl here, I can feel there is a spot for a switch here. I actually put up the uh, heater control fan switch right here and I had to drill out there. And in the back behind here in the dash, it's a sheet metal panel that's already punched out for a, uh, a small, maybe a half inch hole and I've got to bore this to I think about 875 that's 7 8 I believe and I'll use a, a unibit and get in here with a, a unibit and that should work well for drilling that out I thought about not mounting it in the dash like mounting it down below somewhere down here maybe zip tying it up in here but why not why not make it a panel put it in the panel make it look nice it's a similar size to these others it actually will fit right in kind of looking like that hazard so uh, yeah, I think two of these were nine bucks on Amazon, but this is, uh, that'll Here be nice. For access behind the panel, I've got the speedometer cable taken off, so this comes in and out pretty simple. But right, ne right next to the switch right here is where it's gonna go, right kinda in the back. And I can feel behind here, there is a hole drilled and uh, probably pushing, yeah, I can almost see the bump I'm pushing out right there, yep. So there's plenty of real estate back here for that switch to sit behind here. A lot of room right back here. All right, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get after drilling the hole for that light siren. We'll get it up in here, get that hole started. So that's that's just poking through the vinyl. Okay, so uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go to about seven eighths and check the size here. Holy sheet metal here! You know how thick this is. It's like, that's an eighth inch. Man, that's uh, that's some thick stuff. And I think that's probably because this whole dash structure is, is being supported all the way across by that plate there. So it'll take me a second, but I'm gonna drill on that. All right, let's get after it. A little more here. What do we got? I'm gonna set my drill on here and smoke the plastic vinyl. Perfect. Oh yeah, that's good. What do we got back here? What do we got here? There she's coming through. There's a better view. A little bit more maybe. I just got a little more. Just to get on the threads here, the diameter gets a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. We got it. It looks pretty good too. Perfect. All right, guys, here it is. This is the 230 degree Fahrenheit alarm system. So my daughter doesn't have to look at the gauge and I tell her, don't let it go past 230, pull over. She won't look, she won't look, and it'll blow up. So, you know, overheat, head gas, whatever. So being as this is a conversion, I wanted to do it like totally good. 
So that's what that alarm will do. So I got back here, I've just got this normally, it's a normally open switch right here. When it hits 2.30, the switch closes, makes contact. I just threw this uh, pigtail around here to check it. This is just 12 volt and a this is a ground right here to one side of the switch. Being as this is this housing here isn't grounded, so I had to run a little lead from the housing. There was a four millimeter threaded, threaded fastener here to ground it into the into the engine or chassis and uh yeah that's how that switch works it just makes contact when it hits 230 